So tonight we have some baseball. Some of it I haven't had a chance to open myself yet, which is optic, and I'm pretty excited about getting into that. It just came out on Wednesday. And after we open a half case of optic, we're going to bust through a full case of tier one. This is that's my last case of tier one. So uh, we'll hopefully pull some fire out of there tonight, and then that'll be the end of that one. But we, of course, do still have uh, Alan and Ginter and some other fun things, too, to open as we go forward. Anyway, let's take a look at who is who our nightly random winners have been so far this month. And basically, if you haven't done a break with me before, uh, I kind of switch it up as to what I do from month to month. But we're going to do the same thing this month that we did last month. And that is a customer appreciation break. On this one will actually be on uh, Saturday August the 5th so it doesn't cost you anything to get in it but the only way you can get in it is by winning the nightly random so that's what we're gonna get ready to do right now which uh, we're gonna just take everybody who's in the break who's in any of the breaks tonight or either there's only the two tonight and that's gonna go over here into random and whoever random selects will be automatically a uh, part of Lucky U3, that customer appreciation break. And in that, of course, I buy the products and you guys have a chance to win the hits. And Chris, it is you tonight, man. It is all you. And I know that uh, I know that you were in Lucky U2 also because I remember you won something in there. So you're having good luck. Hopefully it's going to carry over and you're going to hit some nice things tonight as well all right guys so again i do normally break i probably shouldn't say again i don't think i've said it yet tonight but i do normally break in the order that things end on ebay so that's what we're going to do tonight as well so that's going to put us first up with uh panini optic baseball this is a six box half case break first time we've broken it because it just came out on wednesday we have one team that's unpaid, that's the Diamondbacks. Uh, the guy who owns the Diamondbacks uh, rights did send me a message and let me know that he would be uh, sending over payment for that in the morning. So as long as that comes in, we are all good. And there everybody's had a chance to see their name in lights. So let's take off and see what we can find. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do one other thing. I'm going to adjust the... Uh, I'm going to take this off of autofocus so that we don't have to uh, worry about that camera constantly zooming in and out and all that. I know the focus looks a little fuzzy right now, but it will be uh, fine once we start opening cards because we'll look at those up close and that's, uh, that focus should be fine for that. So what I think I will do here is we'll just take all 12 boxes out and we will number each one of them on the end and then random.org can decide for us which six boxes we open out of the 12 possibilities and that way we'll just keep it all we'll just keep it all random <coughs> excuse me that way we don't have to put the pressure on anybody to choose right or left or any of that. We'll keep all of the all of the pressure off of you and on to random.org. Hi, Marty and Bobby. Uh, yes, guys, tier one is after this. I'm sorry, I thought I I may not have mentioned what came next, but uh, yes, we have optic first, and then tier one comes after that. Those are the only two things that we have to open tonight and neither one of them even though they are one's a half case and the other one is a full case neither one of them really take all that long to break there's 80 cards a box in optic and of course uh you know there's only what three three cards in a box of, of uh tier one i think it's three it's been a while since i've opened it that last case we've just had hanging out here for a little bit because I had so much other stuff I wanted to open <laughs> we had to we had to work it back into the rotation 
shipping wise guys uh everything that i ah uh, everything that i open uh or that we break tonight will most likely ship in the monday tuesday time frame and if i can get it to you sooner i will get it to you sooner but that's kind of uh what i'm thinking at the moment that it'll be the monday tuesday range and i have to write down these box numbers because you know what i won't remember them so that's uh sorry that's what i was doing that's why you're still stuck looking at that page because <laughs> i was being busy writing this down all right so we need number gosh i can barely read this there's so much stuff on the end of the box we need 10 and here is three we're gonna need five and two and nine and 12. All right, so let me set these others aside because they will be opened up a different night. And this is what we're gonna get into tonight. This has a good checklist in it. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to see what we can pull out of it. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have just got, my allergies are just just bad today so I'm gonna apologize up front for all the sniffling and snuffing and throat clearing and whatnot that I'm probably gonna be doing tonight <laughs> oh okay so apparently a bunch of people are just now jumping in so let me just back up I generally break in the order that things end on eBay so first up tonight is this half case of optic as soon as the half case of optic is broken then we will break the full case of tier one so there are six boxes of optic and each box has 80 cards in it so it's not a super short break but it's also not a tremendously long break like a half case of Allen and Ginter would be for instance and then um, I'm assuming you guys probably since you missed that part probably missed uh, the shipping part too so what I had also said earlier is that probably this stuff that we're breaking tonight will ship in the Monday Tuesday range and sometimes I'm able to get stuff out ahead of schedule but generally speaking um, you know whatever I announce in the break is usually pretty close to right and that's because I ship obviously the breaks in the order that they happen so I kind of have in my head a, a little rolling uh, calculator if you will of what else has to go out so optic there's all kinds of stuff in here it is mostly um inserts and things i think there's maybe like one base card a pack and then everything else is an insert and uh a variation parallels whatever you want to call them there's going to be a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff in here i this is of course my first time opening it since it just came out on Wednesday and I broke Allen and Ginter first but I did see some opened uh, when I was at the hobby shop the other day uh, he had some there that he was opening and so I just took a look at it I got a little glance at it to see what what we were going to be in for and it looks like it's uh, like I said checklist on it looks great and the product that I saw that you know he was opening in the shop was pretty nice so and we've been on a good streak we pulled out of Allen and Genter last night out of the half case we did we pulled a rip card we pulled a, a full-size Bellinger uh, rookie autograph um, we had a hot box where all the base cards were the uh, parallel the glossy parallel which the hilarious part is is the first box that I opened and I was so I was looking so intently at the card design and all that stuff because I hadn't had any in my hand that I didn't even notice that all the base was the parallel. So somebody said, "Aren't you in the middle of a hot box?" And I was like, "Oh, I think we've had our regular number of hits." He's like, "Look at the base." I'm like, oh my gosh, I looked really fast. Um. Oh, so you uh, you missed the spreadsheet, Rich? When I had it up. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Let me get a couple more of these. I want to get all the packs open here for the first box and then I will put the spreadsheet uh, back up for you guys just hang on one second please and we will take another look at it I 
I usually don't like to do that once cards are open because obviously, you know, you want to keep the you want to keep the cards in view, which is generally why I put the spreadsheet up first. But uh, since you guys are asking for it, we will go ahead and pop this up here one more time real quickly. So here again, this is a half case of 2017 Optic Baseball. This is half case break number one. Um, and team names, of course, are down the left. Winning bidders are down the right. We do have one unpaid team. That unpaid team, uh, that person did reach out to me and indicate that he will be sending payment over uh, probably tomorrow morning or later tonight, or I don't know, he had something going on. So anyway, uh, we're gonna work with him and there we go. So, so that should get everything back up to, uh, back up to speed, hopefully there. So let's take a look at what we come up with here out of box number one. And obviously uh, we know we're gonna have one on-card autograph per box in here with all kinds of uh, parallels, as I said, inserts and all that. So of course you guys can see what we have uh, in the way of refractors as they go by. So it looks like, I guess we're going to have one base and one insert and one Diamond Kings is the pattern I'm seeing so far anyway on our, on our first little pass through here. So here, this rated rookie Tyler is, I don't know if any of these rated rookies are going to be numbered um but of course that's a refractor as was our alfaro that went i believe it was alfaro that went through a second ago yeah it was so obviously i'm getting these in my hand the first time too so apologies as i kind of i know i'm going a little uh kind of an unusual pace right now and that's just because i want <laughs> i'm figuring out myself what's going to be numbered and what isn't and uh, all that so here we have Masters of the Game, and that is numbered. This is 3 of 10 on the Pedro Martinez Masters of the Game. Diamond Kings Refractor, that does not, num yeah, not numbered on that one. Nice old Nolan Ryan. And if you guys want to look at anything a second time or you have uh, questions about anything, please, or you want the, you know, something to go faster, or you want me to go not as fast, whatever, whatever you have that you want to share, please feel free to drop it into chat and just be aware that, uh, well, that's not a refractor, that chat does have a little bit of a delay on it. So from the time you type it, oh, Joey Votto for my reds. So from the time you type it to the time that it will show up on my side to, for me to see it is usually a couple minutes, just, just so you know what's going on there. So our auto hit out of here is, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Greg Bird coming out for the Yankees. So Greg Bird is our first hit out of box one. Uh, was the Pedro numbered? Which Pedro are we talking about? Was it a base card or was it an insert? Uh, uh, I don't even remember. I don't know which one we are talking about. So which, I'm assuming it's somewhere in this stack then. Most of the stuff that I thought looked like it might be numbered, I flipped over as we went through. But right now, of course, I'm going back here. I'm not sure which, I'm not sure which card. Oh, you're talking about the one that was numbered to 10? You're talking about Pedro Martinez? Yeah, we did see that one. That is numbered. Yeah, that is 3 of 10. That actually, uh, we did catch that one. I, I, I thought you meant one that we hadn't already looked at. I'm sorry. So yes, that is uh, that is three of ten. And Tiger, thank you, man, for uh, <laughs> for throwing that in there too. Thank you very much. I I assumed there was a another uh, Pedro that had gone through in the base that I hadn't caught because I have a tendency sometimes to 
not pay as much attention to the base cards and so sometimes I don't remember which base cards we've gone through. That's a cool little Chris Sale card. I'm trying to kind of keep the refractors stacked separately so if we want to take a look at them in the review we can. Alex Reyes rated rookie. Ah, so this is, uh, did I, I must have opened some, did I open some packs from the second box? I guess I must have, uh, because here we are with another hit. And it is a nice little Alex Reyes. That is on card, too. So the Greg Bird was a sticker auto, um, but the Alex Reyes is an on card auto. So nice hit there for the cards. Mark Trumbo is a refractor. So is Buster. So far, I haven't seen any anything that has been a numbered insert. Uh, so far, has been the Pedro Martinez, which when we you know you looked at it, I kind of figured it would be. But so hopefully, anything that's going to be numbered is going to be pretty obvious, like that one. That is 119 of 299 on the Corey Kluber. So a couple of numbered inserts. Oh, Justin, yeah. So I don't know. My I don't. It didn't freeze up on my side, but that is not to say that there wasn't. You know, there could always be a little momentary blip kind of thing um, happening there. Or if you're watching on a mobile device, sometimes it's just. I don't know, at least when I watch on a mobile device, sometimes I find that it just, every once in a, every once in a while, just kind of cycles out. I don't kind of know why, but. Because usually, you know, you're not moving around, or at least when I'm thinking about when it has happened to me, it's not times when I've been moving around. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. It's like, what happened? And of course, this is uh, Mickey Mantle's return to Panini. He has... Uh, he has been exclusive to Tops for ages, and his kids made a deal with uh, Panini back several months ago and ended their arrangement with Tops. So this is the first product that Panini has uh, had Mickey Mantle for, and of course he's uh, he's all over the packaging and everything because obviously they're excited to have that out. Oh, Dave, there are hot boxes with five autos. Okay, excellent. Oh, and Shani's saying the same thing. Oh, I, you know what? You're right. There are two, two autographs per box. It's one on card, guaranteed. And I just had in my... I was... You are absolutely correct. It is two per box. One is on card. And the other one uh, may or may not be. Probably not. Will Probably will not be most of the time. And also, I was thinking a little bit more about uh, about the on-card stuff, I guess. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, we already had we already had an autograph out of here. So yeah, you are correct about that. All right, so here we are going into box number two. There's a Fulmer refractor. Molina. So what is the best thing that you guys have seen so far come out of Optic? I mean, that you've seen in a break that you've been in or been watching. That is to 149 on the Mike Trout refractor. Oh, Dave, you're looking for Ricky Henderson. All right, well, maybe we can conjure one up for you tonight. We'll definitely give it a give it a go. We're throwing it out into the universe. See what we can what we can find. Nice prospect, Clint Frazier. Of course, uh, prospect no more because he's already he's already up with the Yankees and playing quite well. 
or at least the last I looked, he was playing quite well. There's Ben and Tendy. Frank Thomas. We pulled a nice Frank Thomas autograph jersey the other night. Number 210, 5 of 10 with Mr. Jake Arietta. So there's a nice uh, little hit. And you will notice that is a Baltimore card. So that is, you know, back to the future. And that is a Baltimore, Baltimore card. That is not what you would normally think of when you see Jake Arietta. So some of those things I generally like to point out because if somebody's kind of maybe listening and not totally closely watching, which I have a tendency to do sometimes when I watch breaks and you hear Jake Arietta and you've got the Cubs and you're thinking, hey, I'm going to get that card and then it doesn't show up with your shipment and you don't know why. So I do try to point those out when I see them. Oh, wow, you saw one of one judge come out already? That is crazy. I can't believe it's already come out that soon. Was it on the, was it on the rated rookie or on uh, one of the throwback card designs? There's Mr. Cody Bellinger. Of course, we would like to find a little ink in here for him as well. Francisco Lindor in the Elite Series. Jose Rondon for San Diego on card auto. Yeah, it would have had to, it would have had to have been. It must come out on the must have that one of one must have then come out on the day of release because this all just came out Wednesday. Um, Optic and um, Allen and Genter both just hit uh, hit on Wednesday. So Jake Thompson. So it must have come out then on day one, which is just crazy. Bryce Harper to, does that say 50? Why can't I see what that says? I believe, yeah, to 50. Oops. Well, I was trying to stack the refractors separately, but I just, I know I've probably put one or two of them in that other stack by accident. Another Corey Kluber. Oh, Margot was a, is a refractor. Sometimes it's hard for me to see that they're a refractor at the angle I hold them for the camera. And as soon as I start to lay them down flat, then it, then the light hits it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Now I see it. Uh, so there is a short print MVP variation that you did. Do you want to look at again? I'm taking. Um so let's go back through here and see. Do you remember who was on it by chance? And again, I know you probably typed that in closer to the time that we were going past it, but with a little bit of a a little bit of a delay and when chat hits, I didn't see it until just now. So I I would have thought that it would have been in that stack. Um, maybe it went into the refractors. I mean, I don't really... Do you, do you know who the player was on it, Shani? So, uh, because it's going to be hard for me to know where to stop to show you again. <laughs> if I, I don't know which stack it's in. A Mike Trout. Uh, well, that would have been, gosh, I don't, that would have been maybe way back then. Because we haven't seen Mike Trout for a bit, I don't think. Wow, 
Well, there's only one more stack to flip through here. Aside from obviously our autographs, which we know we know we don't have a Mike Trout autograph at this point. And I don't believe we will either, actually, because he is a a top signer, I believe, and that is just regular Mike Trout. This must be is this the one you were talking about from like the very that's must have been at the very very beginning. So is that the one you wanted to uh, to see? Chris Bryant and Kershaw as well. Yeah, well, you probably then have seen those at this point <laughs> if we've already because uh, we're on we're back all the way back into the very first that we opened. So I'm going to guess that probably we saw those go by again already, but there is, uh, there's the trout anyway. All right, so moving on, we just got a nice, we got a nice little preview there. So that does help for somebody who came in late and they got to go back and see everything we had pulled up to that point. So I think we've already did we already pull we've already pulled two autos out of this box. I have to go back and think about what we what we've had come out, but I believe we did because we had the Padres come out and then the uh, Arietta came out for Baltimore out of this box. Yeah, I have obviously not learned all of the short prints in Optic at this point. I'm still trying to uh, remember all of the short prints that I have in Allen and Genter. When I roll all these products out one right after the other, it is challenging to remember each of the short prints and everything. You know, I looked over the checklist. I didn't remember seeing that there were 20 possibilities for Judge One of Ones. Um, in fact, most of the Judge stuff was somewhat short printed. I mean, all of his auto on the autos on the throwback designs, I think, were to five. Um, now, there's just a general, you know, not on the throwback design, on the standard card design was a higher quantity of course but a lot of his autos in here or the variations anyway are relatively low numbered and then the main card design of course clearly a, a higher component to hit you know a much higher number available but I don't uh, I don't remember seeing as many as 20 possibilities for one of ones that's not to say that there isn't but that's to 99 on the Andrew Miller but for sure, there's more than one of them in there anyway. There's Carson Fulmer. That is on card. Mr. Todd Frazier, he just got traded, didn't he? Or did I? Yeah, I believe he did. Daniel Murphy is to 149. Alex Dickerson is to two ninety nine. Joey Votto again, yay! Rod Carew, Masters of the Game. Charlie Blackman to one forty nine. Jose De Leon to what does that say? Ninety nine. That is forty two of ninety nine on the De Leon. That is to two ninety nine. Uh, Carson, uh, what are you asking me? Is that uh... oh, are you talking about the Fulmer? Yeah, Carson Fulmer is uh, Carson Fulmer is the socks. Zach, uh, I never say this guy's name right. I always want to say Greinecke, and that's not right either. It's Gr Grinky. I never get it right. Anyway, he's the Diamondbacks. He's a good pitcher. 
This to 99. He's actually a great pitcher in my opinion, but. Giancarlo. Francisco Lindor to 199. Arnado to 149. And again, uh, this will get faster as we go. I'm still uh, figuring out what everything is going to be numbered to myself. That is to 199 on the Incarnation. And that is because, yeah, this is my first time opening it. So I'm, I'm with you on this. We're going to figure it. We got to, once I get a better look at it, I will know what they are before we even flip them over what they're going to be numbered to. That is to 149. To 99. DeGrom is to 99. Uh, did we look at? Yeah, okay. Benintendi again. And there's Cano to 99, or Cano, actually, I think is the way you're supposed to say it. Goldschmidt to 99. Dominator to 149 on the Priscello. That is to 299 on the J. Bruce. Ronaldo Lopez. There's an Aaron. Unfortunately, it has no ink on it, which I know you want. Michael Fulmer. George Springer to 50. Joey Votto to 199. Brad Miller to 199. And then David Paulino to 125 coming out for the Astros. Another on card. Yeah, there definitely were more refractors in that one than normal for sure. So I guess if if they have a, an option for refractor hot box, yes, I would say that was one. But there were definitely more refractors than normal and more numbered uh, than than we have seen. Well, I say than normal, but you know we've only opened what three boxes, so. Normal for what we have seen, more than normal for what we had seen up to this point. Let's back that up. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how limited they made Optic this year. Presumably because they had so much of it left from last year. So they made a whole lot less this year. And then, of course, you know, this year baseball is hot so then crazy so now they have last year they had more than anybody wanted this year they have considerably less than anybody wanted so i can't imagine being those guys though tops and panini and i guess i predict to a certain extent although what do they have besides hockey good win champions maybe but anyway trying to predict what to print of something that's got to be that's got to be a hard job Do not envy them. I think it's easier just to get them all out of the you know, there's not that many cards in each pack. It's easier, I think, just to get them all out of here at once. And then once we get in the flow, we can just keep on rolling. At least with that box. I feel like we're seeing Jordan Montgomery a lot. Are we seeing Jordan Montgomery a lot? Or for some reason is he just registering in my mind more than others? 
make sure Mickey's not numbered. Joe Panic coming out to 35 for the Giants. Cody again. Man, didn't uh, that is uh, $2.99 on the uh, Arenado. Man, didn't he have like the game of his life the other day that was crazy which i had played him that day in uh, bunt so yeah he he racked up my point total that day oh rafael devers and the prospects of course and corey seager Arnado again. Sierra. Cano. <clears throat> Excuse me. Salvador Perez to two ninety nine. Oh, we've got a redemption. We'll set that one down there for a minute. We'll uh, we'll save it. We'll build up the anticipation for the redemption. And there's another uh, there's another Carson Fulmer. All right, our redemption. Ben and Tendy, nice rated rookie signatures. Cool, Ben and Tendy, little rookie ink hit. Nice, nice. Box five of six that we are getting ready to, well, I was just, you know, probably because I set them on the corner there and they hit the, they hit the corner of that box is what I'm trying to spit out. Yeah, Ben and Timmy's had a little bit of a rough year. I mean, he's, he's had, definitely had good streaks, but he's had some, he's had a little rookie slump here and there too, as has Dancy, and of course everybody's saying that it's going to hit Aaron now that we're past the all-star break, so, and I guess he has had maybe a couple of games where he's not been as dominant, but all three of those guys are going to be good long-term. Nothing to worry about. Uh, what was the all-star card? Oh, man, Justin, how far back are we talking? <laughs> uh, you are saying... Oh, um, all right, so, Rich, you're saying that, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I, of course, we don't have any way to know whether or not we're going to pull one of the, uh, one of the auto hot boxes. Or not. That's one of the reasons that I like to, to let random select which boxes we're going to open because that takes all the possible, you know, it literally makes it completely random. So it takes out any possibility of, of knowing where a hot box is going to fall or something like that. Not that you would know anyway, but, or that I would know or that anybody would know, but anything that has case hits, I prefer to do by allowing random to choose the boxes as opposed to uh, me or one of you guys or whatever. Um, okay, so you are asking, Justin, the last stack you wanted to see 
an all-star card. Boy, I'm thinking, I don't know, this I think is the last stack that we had. And I don't really remember seeing an all-star card in here, but that's not to say that there was not one. Because again, I don't always, is this the one you were talking about? The trout? Or was it something else? Well, I'll buzz through here again in case it was not the trout. But that didn't really say all-star on it, so that's why I'm not sure if that's the one, but that does have the horizontal orientation, which is what you indicated. So that may be what you're looking for. Ah, there, it just popped up in chat. You said that is the one you were looking for. Okay. And what did you, uh, did you just want, you just wanted to look at it again? It doesn't, uh, it's not numbered that I, that I see. It doesn't, it's not a refractor. It is, it's a cool card though. It's a nice looking card. Is that who you have tonight, the Angels? You're working on working on those Angels tonight. Back to the Future, Michael. I, I never say these names right. Kopek. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with uh, Yeah, we're going to go with that. Kopek. Kopek. One of those. Something like that. Something in that general vicinity. Dom Mattingly, cool. Musgrove. Oh, here's Hernandez. Let's see. Hernandez is numbered to 150. Another nice little hit there for the Astros. There's a couple of hits for them. Well, if we can hang on to the cards here, I might be doing all right. Chris Sale to 250, I think. No, to 299. I can't even I can't even see it. Cody Bellinger. Well, you got lucky. Here's one of your hot boxes. Jeff Hoffman to 50 for the Rockies. Freddie Freeman to 299. I don't know why I thought that Trey Mancini was going to be numbered. Prospects uh, Mateo to 149. Jake Thompson. Corey Kluber again. We've seen a lot of Corey Kluber tonight, have we not? Or is it just that Corey Kluber is sticking out in my mind uh, for some reason? Oh, no, you don't have the Angels tonight? Who'd you end up with, Justin? I can't, you know I never remember who has what teams ever. Even though I put the spreadsheet up, I don't ever retain that, honestly. Because I generally, tonight there's only two breaks, so if I had, you know, really paid, made an effort to retain it, I might have tonight. But most of the time there's five or six breaks, and it's like, oh, there's no way I'm going to remember all those. Ruiz for the Braves. Addison Russell. Oh, there's Ian Happ. Yay. Yay, Ian Happ. Hernandez again. Hunter Renfro for the Padres to 50. Tell you what, don't we just pull? It seems like we pull a lot of Hunter Renfro, right? I mean, it seems like it really does seem like we do pull a lot of Hunter Renfro. And that's another one where maybe it just feels like that way to me, and we don't, but it seems like we did. Um, yes, there was. Um, okay, Rich is saying, well, 
yeah, I had, I kind of, you probably noticed, I had stopped, uh, stopped calling out the refractors because there are a lot of them, but if, oh, sorry, those are my uh, little kitties are fighting uh, down there. You just heard that. One of them is after the other one. Uh, so yes, I had stopped calling out the refractors. Which one did you want to see again? I mean, of course, there are any of the ones that are that shine in those pretty little rainbow colors are are refractors in here. It's just there are so many that I had uh, stopped calling them out. So I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure which one you want to see, Rich. Can you let me know? And Justin, you've got the Mets and the Reds. All right, well, we have had a couple of Joey Votto's go through. I know they're not signed, but at least we've had some Reds. You know, sometimes we don't even have a lot of Reds go through. And Dave, yes, there was a an Aaron Judge base. And I don't know if you saw the cards you wanted to see in there a second time or not, Rich, but if you can jump back into chat and let me know if we covered it when I went back through there or not. And if we didn't, I will try to figure out which stack it is in. Oh, okay, so you've already... All right, cool. I know there's so much to look at in Optic because they have so many inserts and parallels and color schemes and everything there's you know really only one base card per pack so it's a lot to it is definitely a lot to take in when going through it for sure but that's what makes it fun i think optic is a cool little series I mean, obviously, last year in football, it was impossible to get. Uh, everything was impossible to get last year in the later part of the year just because of uh, the cowboy kids. And then even though basketball was honestly a kind of a, a down year in general, optic and basketball is still really hard to get. So they have, uh, I guess, across the board decided to make optic uh, in lower quantities and Everybody will be chasing it all the time. And we do, because they're nice looking cards. So this is our last box, box six of six tonight on our half case. Of course, after we finish this up, we will review our hits and then We'll start into Tier 1 after that. Another Ian Happ. That is to 299 on Kirby Puckett. Jordan Montgomery is another one that I swear to you, I think, I, I feel like we've seen him go by here 30 times tonight, and I know we really haven't, I'm sure, but it just seems like we have. I don't know. Some of them just, I guess, stick in my mind more than others, maybe. I guess that's it. Jose De Leon for the Tampa Bay Rays. Another Pedro. Corey Seeger to 199. All right. May the force be with us. We're in our last uh, we're in our last little bit here. So if we haven't hit what you're looking for yet, here's hoping that we hit it now. Tyler Naquin for the Indians. So, you know, it's really actually 
pretty interesting when random chooses our boxes, right? And if there are going to be two hot boxes per case, I mean, in theory, random could have chosen both of them in one break, or it could have chosen none of them in one break and two in the other. Or we could have ended up one and one. And interestingly enough, we are going to end up one and one, which is really, that is to two ninety nine on the Duke Schneider, which is really kind of cool, you know. It really did divvy it up for us in the most equitable way. All right, I'm going to set our giant stacks of base cards down here on the sorting mat so that we have a little bit more room and then we'll take a look at our hits and I will go checklist verify Mr. Benintendi for the socks but I do always checklist verify stuff guys I just think it's the right way to do it so even though um, we know who the players are where they're going to go most of the time I still go to the website and verify it. So we'll do that here in a moment too. And if you guys, whoever's getting ready to take off, who's not part of tier one, um, I'll say thank you to you now. And then I'll say thank you again later if you end up staying through tier one. But guys, I really do appreciate uh, everybody hanging out with me, chatting with me, breaking with me, bidding with me. And I hope that, uh, I hope I will see you guys again somewhere along the way. So let's first, let's run into the checklist here and uh, we'll just verify Benintendi is the socks, which again, I mean, I know that he is, okay, but I do, I do it every time. It's just the way I've always done it, so I think it's the best way to do it. That way there's never any any kind of a mistake. What is that? Rated Rookie Signatures. Where are you, buddy? There. And it is what? Card number six. All right, so we are good to go there. It does not list uh, a number, so it must be an open edition. The checklist didn't, so, uh, didn't show a number. So, all right, so we have the redemption for Mr. Benintendi. Tyler Naquin, that is a sticker auto. Jose De Leon is on card. Hunter Renfro on card. Ruiz on card. Hoffman on card. Hernandez Refractor on card. Although, actually, I guess another couple of those were as well. Refractors, and I just didn't say it. Copic, or, well, you know I don't say it right. That is a sticker auto. Panic is a sticker. Paulino on card. Carson Fulmer on card. Rondon on card. Arietta on sticker. And again, note to Baltimore. Alex Reyes on card. And Greg Bird as a sticker. So that, guys, is half case of optic in the books. Oh, I'm just looking over here. Dave says, oh, Dave, did you, yeah, if you had, did you have the Yankees, I'm assuming? Because I see that you say brutal over there. I'm guessing maybe you had the Yankees on that one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not ideal. To, you did get a Judge base, and you got the Greg Bird auto, but I know that obviously Aaron Judge is what you were looking for. I'm sorry we didn't hit that for you, man. Next up is a full case and the last case of uh, 2017 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. So this one will be the last time we'll have it this year. And once again, we have our same format where we have our team names down one side, our winning bidder names across from them. So there's your, here's your chance to see your name up in lights next to your team. Give you a chance to put a little, a little mojo out in the universe here. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can conjure up 
what you're looking for, hopefully. So here comes our last, our last little case of tier one. Yeah, no, no more tier one. That is, Marty, this is the last sad little case that I have. And he's sad, not because he's going to, you know, he's sad because he's the last one. Yeah, I wish, you know, honestly, obviously, everybody wishes they had probably ten times more of any baseball this year than what we actually do have. But, you know, most of this stuff, if you pre-order it, well, I guess it depends on where you get it. So let me back up and start with that. Depends on where you pre-order from, I suppose. But most of the time, if you're pre-ordering from somewhere other than like a, a, a retail outlet, you've got to put in your orders, you know, six, seven months ahead of time. And so by the time, you know, the product is coming out, the prices have already gone up considerably, and then a day or two after that, they've gone through the stratosphere. At least that's how it's been lately. And it's challenging because it's hard to guess that far out how much of something you're going to want or need, especially when you don't even know what the checklist is, you know? So it's like you're totally kind of just flying blind. And on some stuff, I got luckier than others in the sense that if it was something I personally liked, I ordered more of it, <laughs> you know, like I had, I think, probably eight cases or something of Inception, because that's a, one that I like. I had whatever we had here, eight cases or whatever of Tier 1. Actually, I take that back. I think we had six cases of Tier 1, because I did two of the cases as half case breaks, and this is break number eight in total so yeah so i think it's six cases of tier one but then some of the other stuff like uh you know optic i only have a couple cases of it only a couple of cases of uh allen and ginter so you know sometimes you just have to guess and sometimes you guess right and sometimes you don't i don't know Ah, Justin, you have the Indians in here, and Marty, I know you've got the Braves. And you have hit some really nice Braves out of here. I'm assuming you've gotten all those by now, right, Marty? Everything's arrived to you by this point in time, I would think. So you've gotten a chance to look at some of those sweet cards that you've hit. And then, of course, you hit that signed Hank Aaron jersey not too long ago as well. You've been on a really good run lately with your Braves. You have had a nice, a nice run with them lately. So yeah, let's hope it, let's hope it continues tonight. Well, for everybody, of course. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I always like everybody to hit something. I would, I would love it. You know how they have retail exclusives and they have hobby exclusives? You know, I'm like, why can't they make a breaker exclusive and have a hit for every team in the case, guaranteed? I mean, that's just, you know, I'm not asking for much, right? <laughs> so we're starting off with a really nice patch for uh, Corey Seager for the Dodgers, numbered to 10. Two of 10 on that, and that is a nice big patch and two color, and it's a nice one. So right off the bat, we've got a good hit for the Dodgers. Oh, oh, and look at that patch. Oh, 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 sweet. And signed. Oh, yeah. That is uh, number 8 of 10, Stephen Wright, of course, uh, for the Sox. And wow, that's a sweet card. Yeah, that is a nice, nice card. And, of course, all of these guys, you've heard me say this before, Corners and edges, you're going to find some chipping and imperfections, most likely. Blake Snell to 300 for the Rays. And generally on these, on Tier 1, I have found that they're most noticeable on the back, just because of the way the card is uh, colored, that I find them a lot on the back side. I will see little odds and ends stuff. <laughs> two jumbo patches at the top. I know, right? And then you're saying it doesn't bode well for the rest of the case. Oh, come on, man. 
No, let's just think that we're going to find a whole bunch. Maybe we've got a super special case. Cardinals to 331 for the Piscotti. Frank Thomas to 99 for the White Sox. I'm telling you, Frank Thomas has been following me around ever since we pulled his uh, autographed jersey the other day. It seems like all of a sudden we're pulling Frank Thomas like crazy. Tie block to 295, I think that says, for the Giants. Which, I mean, hey, Frank Thomas is always going to be a nice pull. I mean, the guy, if you're a, a White Sox fan, the guy is, you know, a legend for your team, sort of. Mookie Betts to 331. Trevor Story to 331. Freddie Freeman, there's one of your Braves. And that is to 25. You continue to pull nice Braves, man. I'm telling you, you've got, you and the Braves have some kind of special connection this month. Because <laughs> you, you've been not only pulling them, but pulling them with very low numbers and such. So there is Freddie Freeman to 25. You do have, I notice, a little bit of chipping in the lower right in particular. Um, but overall, quite nice. I'm just moving that around a little bit because there's some kind of weird light reflection I noticed on that. A Redemption Breakout Autograph Copper Ink Parallel Tyler Glass now. We know that that's going to be the Pirates, but we will go to the checklist on it at the end of the break. Oh, Freddie Freeman just hit a long homer. I didn't play him tonight. Ah, daggone it. I should have, I guess. Eno Slaughter for the Cardinals to 200, and that's a piece of bat, and that's got to be, like, a really old piece of bat, for sure. Danny Duffy for the Royals to 300, and I do see, again, bottom edges and corners there, some little chipping and whatnot. I saw a Yankee. I got excited, yeah, but it's Tyler Austin to 300. But at least we know the Yankees are tracking in here. Oh, Jonathan, I just saw you said go Dodgers up there. Yes, we have we've pulled a Dodger for you already, I think, right? Yeah, we pulled a Dodger like straight out, straight out uh, at the top. There is Corey Kluber to 331 for the Indians. And that's, uh, I see down there, bottom left, a little weirdness for that one. Guriel to 331 for the Astros. Hey, there's a little Adam Duvall for my Reds. It's a 300. I always like to see something come out for the Reds. And that one definitely has some chipping and stuff all along the bottom edge in those uh, corners. Alex Reyes to 140. I thought that's what that said. Usually they're to 149, but that is to 140 for the Cardinals. <laughs> oh, Justin says, poor Tyler, not Aaron Judge Austin. <laughs> you know, anybody, honestly, on the Yankees right now that isn't Aaron Judge, I think whoever has the Yankees, they're just like, oh, all I want is Aaron Judge. Yeah. Robert Gelman to 331. Oh, sweet. Look at that. I love that patch. That is 18 of 25 on the Jose Altuve or Altuve or whatever uh, for the Astros. And that is a nice patch. I like it. I like it. I like it. A little chipping down there on the bottom. Luke Weaver to 200 for the Cardinals. <laughs> You're saying there are thousands of Reyes cards. <laughs> you know, I guess there are a... Uh, I guess there are a fair number that say that are Reyes. And then what is Steve asking me? Doesn't this... It'll look like it says which one are you what which autograph did you want to see again the altuve oh oh 
I see what you're saying. They put uh, they put the wrong sticker on there, didn't they? Is that not his auto? Maybe that, maybe, well, I don't know. I'd have to have another one of his autographs to compare to see if that's what his signature looks like or not. I don't know. It is possible, I guess, that they put the wrong sticker on there. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I think you might, uh, did we have, no, the other Guriel we had wasn't signed in here, was it? And I don't have another signed one. I've pulled some, but I don't have one here with me to compare it to. But yeah, you may be right. I think they may, they may have applied the wrong sticker on there. It's possible. Okay, Steve says no. That is what his signature really is. And somebody else says it's not. And Yeah, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that is the right one or not. But that was an interesting notation that it is and uh, doesn't really... I guess that's maybe he just makes his J looks like a G. I don't know. Alex Bregman to 25 for the Astros. That's a nice patch on the bottom on the Bregman. Cabrera to 331 for the Tigers. A little Jose Canseco to 300 for the A's. We've pulled Jose Canseco a lot lately. See some chipping in the lower right in particular. Tyler Naquin, who I've pulled again tonight, and the other in Optic. That one is to 300 for the Indians. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jonathan, this one is tops. This isn't Panini. <laughs> Although, honestly, I think they've probably both at some point or another put the wrong sticker on something. Definitely uh, not outside the realm of possibility. There's Marte to 331 for the Pirates, and that's uh, a little bit of camo uniform there. Steven Matz for the Mets to 300. A.J. Reed, another Astros hit to 300. Astros are going to town in this break. Seems like we've pulled a lot of Astros from here so far. Greg Maddox to 200. There's another Brave for you, Marty. That'll go with, uh, you pulled that nice Maddox signature to, what was it, 10 the other night or 25? It was low numbered anyway, the Maddox. I think might, was it to 10? Mark Mulder for the A's to 300. How about that? There's a couple of, a couple of legacy A's for you there. Here's a Dodger, Tracy Thompson, the 300. All right, we've got three left. Yeah, there are um, there are Mets all over the place this year. It seems like you're right. A lot of play, a lot of sets have a lot of Mets in them. There's a little Mike Trout to 331, but I wish that little Mike Trout had some ink to go with that piece of material. Oh, yay, Fernando Valenzuela. I love Fernando. So there's another nice hit for the Dodgers. And it is number 65 of 65 for Fernando. A little bit of chipping in the corners uh, in particular. Yay. Always did like him. Jarrell Cotton to 300. Another hit for the A's. Dustin Pedroa to 331 for the Red Sox. Prince Fielder to 30. Wow, I haven't seen pulled a Prince Fielder in a long time out of anything. Uh, so there is Fielder to 30 for the Rangers. And again, you know, little imperfections along the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like pulling that. 
Trevor Story to 50 for the Rockies. Nice looking card. Yeah, I mean, Tier 1 definitely. Any of the thicker cards have a tendency to have issues around the corners and edges. But certain sets, I'd say, are more prone to it than others. And, and it's really not even that they're more prone to it, I don't necessarily think, Steve. It's the color of the cards. And these have that dark background. So it makes any of the imperfections show up so much more than if it were a white background. So that's as much of the problem as anything. There's Joey Votto for my Reds to 331. And you just get that black background and any little anything just pops right out at you. Dexter Fowler to 100 for the Cubbies. And Trey Turner to 200 for the Nationals. All right, so of course we got to review all this because everything's a hit in Tier 1. There's no such thing as a base card in Tier 1. So we'll set all of our little stacks up here and uh, I'm just going to jump into the checklist and we will uh, verify Tyler there who is going to be a pirate but we're going to we're going to uh, verify him anyway because because I do so let me get the tier one up what does that say breakout autographs Yep, there he is, Pittsburgh Pirates, as ex... Uh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, that's what I... That is what we said, <laughs> wasn't it, Pittsburgh Pirates? <laughs> Good Lord, I'm losing my mind now. I got... I'm like, what did I just... Yes, that is right. Is that what I said a minute ago? That's what I... I think that's what I said. I don't even know. Every once in a while, my brain kind of uh, disconnects from my mouth, and I don't manage to spit out what I am trying to spit out. <laughs> All right, guys. So, oh, thank you, too, Marty. I appreciate it. Um, thanks, everybody, of course. If you didn't hear me say earlier, you might not have been logged on when I did say that, but I do... Very much appreciate uh, everybody bidding with me and chatting with me and and hanging out. So uh, thanks to everybody. I hope I will see you again. We've got a lot of baseball coming up in the days ahead, as well as football and basketball. So to review our hits, uh, we have the Tyler Glass now redemption for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Our Jose Altuve to 25 for the Astros with a really nice patch. The sticker auto with that looks like it's somebody else's signature. <laughs> Stephen Wright, that's a really nice jumbo patch uh, to 10 for the Red Sox. And, of course, the signature at the top. We'll just do all the rest of our signatures, and then we'll do our materials. All right, so we had a, a reasonable... Uh, it's kind of weird, though, that they left extra Fowler in as a Cub, though, right? I mean, because he's, you know, clearly a Cardinal these days, but I have him in there as Cub, so what are you going to do? Um, but there was, I think, a reasonably good team distribution in here. Sometimes, you know, it seems like you open a case and there'll be 50 cards for one team and, like, 20 teams with no hits. So, I mean, certainly... There are teams in here that got more than one hit, and there are certainly teams that didn't get any, but sometimes it, it seemed a little, it seemed like we touched a few more teams than sometimes we do, so I guess I'll find out for sure when we sort it. But if you didn't hit anything, um, if you literally hit nothing, no relic, no signature, I will still send you something, so you will still get a little... You'll still get a little package in the mail that ha will give you a chance to, to maybe uh, still find something. And I don't know if there was anything in here that anybody would really necessarily want a one-touch for, but if there is something that you do want in a one-touch, shoot me a message on eBay 
always happy to do that just at my cost so that is always an option for any card that you pull with me and then um, so what is it that you need there uh, little <laughs> what what do you what are you needing a shout out about? I don't know what team you had, man. So I don't know. I don't know what. I'm not sure what your question is. Can you let me know? I do like that patch for Bregman. And I also like that it's first in the series. Somehow or another, we've all become conditioned to liking the first in the series and the last in the series. And there's really no logical reason to prefer the first or the last in the series. But yet we all kind of do. Don't really know how, where along the way that happened. But I think it, it afflicts most of, most of us. <laughs> if we had a choice, we would take the first or the last. And there's our other really nice patch, uh, the 2 of 10 Seeger for the Dodgers. That is a really, uh, it's a really nice one. Oh, you're a Yankees fan. Okay, well, you know what? I mean, the Yankees have a lot to be, a lot to be happy about this year for sure. They've, uh, they've got a lot of good pieces in place, so going to be hard for them to catch uh, a couple teams that are ahead of them at this point but anything can happen between uh, between now and uh, the playoffs so they definitely have a lot of nice young players I'm sure they're going to be in the mix for many years ahead as well yeah they could still use a little pitching help but you know what they're they're getting there. They're getting there. They're getting all their pieces in place. They're looking uh, they're looking pretty good. All right, guys, that is it for me tonight. I got to get busy sorting and putting all this in uh, sleeves and top loaders and all such as that. So, thank you again, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and maybe I will see you again on another break uh, later this weekend. Take care, guys. Bye bye.